Is Skyrim my favorite Elder Scrolls? Probably. It would be either that or... Um... Oh, man. I'm having a massive brain fart. Um... Oblivion. It would be either Skyrim or Oblivion. Probably Skyrim, though, between the two. What are channel points? I got a command for that. The Bam! Gets a there you go. The police mural. We'll get around about how I helped her. So that's it. Nothing more I can do to get people talking. Time to throw my spear at our text feet. Not just yet. Soon, but not just yet. First, we talk with Bergrind. Bergrind. How'd your investment pay out? Quite handsomely. Thanks very much. You know those three crazy Manuka calling themselves New Coney's Arrows now? <laughs> well, now that I have those parts, I can pay off a debt of my own. So they've gone south then? Aye, that they have. I've got a friend in the Sundom by the name of Otur. He owes me a favor. Old Otur is a machine scavenger, a pretty competent one. So I sent them to learn from the best. Or at least from the pretty competent. Well, we work with the resources we have. Speaking of which, here, a token of my gratitude. Saram encampments creep closer to Banuk lands. It seems to me that sandbox and modded can be applied to the same games. Are there any sandbox games that are not modded? Uh, also, Jago's home. Thank you so much. Uh, or uh, nine volt. Thank you for gifting out a sub. Appreciate it. Um, are there any sandbox games that are not modded? And are there modded Songs games that are not sandbox? There are absolutely modded games that are not sandbox. I mean, pretty much any. A sandbox game is basically a game that, like, you can essentially play it however you want to play it. There's not necessarily a story that you have to follow. Um, you can kind of play around in the world and, you know, do sort of whatever you want to do. That's a sandbox game. So, like, Minecraft. Uh, RimWorld is very sandboxy. Uh, Skyrim is very sandboxy. Like, like, those are examples of sandbox games. Modded games are just... I mean, realistically, pretty much any game that's ever come out on PC <laughs> is, is basically modded. <laughs> you know? Um, so, like, I, I wouldn't consider... Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn to be a sandboxy game. Um, I wouldn't consider... Uh, I wouldn't consider Sekiro to be a sandboxy game. I wouldn't really consider Dark Souls to be a... Uh, well, Dark Souls is kind of a tough one. Because you can basically progress through Dark Souls in a million different ways. But I don't know if I would necessarily consider Dark Souls a sandbox game. Maybe it is. It's, it's sandbox... Esque. I mean, I I would still consider I would consider Skyrim sandboxy because it's there's so much freedom in in Skyrim to do whatever you want in whatever order you want and build your character however you want. You know, like there's so much freedom in Skyrim. That's really what it, what a sandbox game is defined by is like the player's freedom to do things um, in so many different ways. You know. Um, Breath of the Wild, I would probably consider a sandboxy type game. Um, a lot of open worlds would be would be at least some somewhat sandboxy, if that makes sense. Like it's really just defined by the player's freedom to go through the game. Uh, examples of games that would not be sandboxy: Uncharted would not be sandboxy. Anything that has like chapters for the most part, right? Where you like play through the game and there's like clear starting and ending points. Um, for either you like levels, if you will, right? Or like this is the fire level, and then this is the whatever level. Like that's not really a sandboxy game. Like it, it just depends on the game, and it's also kind of one of those like know it when I see it sort of things, you know? Like yeah, you, you you just kind of know it when you see it if it's a sandboxy game or not. It's just kind of a generic. Um, way of describing certain types of games. You know, and some games are more sandboxy than others. Like, Minecraft is about, is like the ultimate sandbox game. Like, there is no story, really. Um, there's really no, like, rules that you have to follow, and 
Um, like, you kind of just do whatever you want in Minecraft. Like, that's definitely a sandbox. It, it's the ultimate sandbox. Um, compared to, like, RimWorld, where it's still very sandboxy and you can... You have a lot of freedom to do things, but there's still certain things that you really kind of have to do and, and certain, you know, parts of progression that you really kind of have to do. Things you need to plan for and, and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Like, it just depends on the game. Anyway, I think we're going to advance the main story here of... Actually, before we do that, how are we doing on space? The rock, I don't. I'm sorry. Uh, we don't really need a green weapon coil either. Uh, what was this untested coil that I got? Ooh, that's pretty good. Special meat. Thank you so much for the subscription, my friend. Really appreciate it. This is a very good weapons coil. Uh, that's totally going on our bow, like right now. Modify weapons. Good bow. Um, put that. This is just infinitely better than like all of our other weapons. This is this is a great weapons coil. Uh, handling tear and corruption. Well, the corruption is completely useless, so I think we're just going to put it right here. So give me more damage. More deeps, as the saying goes. Give me more deeps. And then we should go talk with uh, someone and sell a bunch of modifications. One thing with Frozen Wilds is you get so many weapons modifications. They are like every. Also, you get so much of this junk as well. It appears. Sell all that too. Okay, uh, sell. Modifications. We need to clear out a substantial number of these. So, stealth. Honestly, I think I'd rather have the stealth that also gives me other resists than these. That we can get rid of. Um, that can go. That can go. Those are both pretty good. That can go. That can definitely go. We just need to get rid of so many of Forty-eight. We're getting closer. But oh, we also have this. That's a really nice. We should get used. To, uh, we should get that thing going so we can actually do something with it. Um, that one can go. We don't need that many corruption things. We don't need this many fire things either. Down to forty-five. That leaves me twenty-five slots. That'll last me at least a little bit. Uh, okay, outfits. We can now get all of the, any one of these, and we're going to get the Silent Hunter Master and equip it. And then we're going to go crafting modify outfits. This one. First things first, give me 25 resistance against every element that actually matters. Uh, next. Give me melee resist. And then give me stealth corruption ranged. Like this one's only blue level, but it's still pretty good just because it's so many resistances like across the board. Resist ranged. 16% range resist. More stealth. We really need more outfit weaves to 
boost all that up. What am I going to play next? Don't know yet. Something. I guess we'll do this one. That gets me up to 35 melee resist, some elemental resist, and some stealth. I think that seems good. Perhaps I'm just too simple. Again, it's sleeveless, so Aloy's gonna freeze, but you know, she'll just have to kind of deal with it. It is what it is. All right. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow, Outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures. And I'll put a quick end to this mockery. He seems upset. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. It's bold. I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet... Part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratok will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Araya, it's not about Alrighty. who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratok. I won't make that mistake again. I'll see you at the Frost Figures, then. Alrighty. So, offer to risk my life in order to take charge of what the new hunting band hopes. I'm not what I always wanted. Yeah. Just figures here I come. So, that would be. Or would that be? Up here. Okay. Gotcha. So, before we do that, I think it would be wise. Is it under Aaron? Yeah, here we go. Let's go hunt a bellow back.
get a bellowback snout and then hunt the uh, stormbird so we can upgrade those two weapons. Bellowbacks now should be. I'm not worried about Bellowbacks. Like, these things will get wrecked. Yeah, this is fine. I'm not even worried. Just make sure we take out the watchers so that we're not dealing with the bellowbacks plus a bunch of watchers. There goes that one. Heading to bed. All right, no worries. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, one here. All right, time to take out a bellow back. Wait for our shot, there we go. Boom! Boom! Dead. Easiest fight ever. One bellowback cannot stop me. That should do it. Varja can finish Beautiful. the forge fire now. All right. Now. Um. Where are we supposed to go and meet? Barja for this other one. Here. Oh, that's a long ways. Okay. Well, fair enough. Nope, no kids. Not at the moment. Maybe someday. But not in a hurry. Okay. Go hunt a stormbird, shall we? You know, I kind of missed all this red dust. Well, there's our stormbird. When you're ready, I'll follow up and boom. There it is. Go hunt a stormbird, shall we? Uh, which means it would probably be wise to switch to a different outfit that has more electric resist. Thought I had one. Ah, there we go. More zap resist. Go there. And there. Give me super zap resist. Because these things are very dangerous, but not really that dangerous except for the zappy bits. So we'll do that. Load this up. Load up some tear blaster arrows. He sees me. Just out of the way. Knock those out of the way. Do some damage. Let's 
excuse me if that didn't hit. Oh, I also don't want to fight all the little creatures down there. Just the... Just you. Got all the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, it's a very big bird. Though. There we go. Stormbird is now my friend. At least temporarily until I start shooting it again. Let it take out all of these dudes. The Stormbird does not appear to be my friend anymore. Oh, because Varga kept shooting at it. That was not what you were supposed to do. Okay, that's dead. I will take that. The good news is the Stormbird is almost down. Yeah, kindly leave me alone. Stormbird's dead. Okay, we're good. Ooh, all right. We did it. The Stormbird is defeated. Do you really want to do this? That's just a terrible idea. This is completely on you. Stupid long legs. Alright. Marja said she could have the storm slinger with us. Got that part you need. Perfect. Wonderful. Already got machine oil on my hands. Improve I've got the what forge you asked fire. for. Show me what you had in mind for the forge fire. Finally! Was feeling like I neglected her. And that's a little too close to my family life. She's done, and she's yours. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Here it is. One Stormbird Talon. Let's do it. I haven't had this much fun in ages. Watch and learn, Aloy. Only, don't stare directly at the sparks. <clears throat> okay, so I pretty much had to break her in half. But what's a staff? A stick. One thing I like about sticks, you can put them back together however you want. Which... You did. This thing looks a whole lot more dangerous. She's better than dangerous. She's a genuine Varja special now. Take good care of her. All right. If I find anything, I think Upgraded you'd like. I'll be back around. You better. And once we get a spear like Aratox, which is the frosty one, I believe, then we can have her upgrade that as well. But in the meantime, we now have fire bursters and the, the fire thrower 
And the Storm Slinger is... I guess the same? I'm not sure how much better than this, the previous, uh, like how much better this is, but. It obviously is somewhat better. I think what it needs is handling and lightning. Or just honestly like shock and damage could be good too. Or just great damage. Hmm. Give it shock and damage. That should be fine. Now, let's give it handling. That's probably the smart thing. Let's give it a nice boost in handling so it's not super slow. That should make it considerable. And then this one, we got fire things we can give it. Uh, although not nearly as many as I would like. Um, fire and freeze, fire and shock, fire and handling. And then you fire and handling again, I guess. Multitask. Boost up the fire, boost up the handling a bit. See if that makes it better. Okay. I think we're good. We, we've done things. So now, now we can go up here and we can fight our. Well, not fight Aratok, but go up against him. Although, you know what? Let's actually go to the hunting grounds and let's try out our new and improved Zappy Stick and see if it's significantly improved. Because I was very disappointed with the Zappy Stick when we used it the first time for this challenge. Let's see if it's way better now. Yeah, Zappy Stick. You'll see, momentarily. It is referred to as the Zappy Stick. Because now we have the best version of the Zappy Stick. Yeah, the Stick of Zappy. You will see. If you have not seen this weapon in action, you're about to. Uh, the first time I used it, I was extremely not impressed. I thought it was pretty bad. Give me more ammo. Let's see if we can do Back better. For more. Good. The control trial tests the hunter's ability. Only the wise. We'll start. I accept. The snow at the bottom of that rope. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. Okay. Shouldn't use my weapons up here. So, Don't be cheating. Let's give this a try. Oh, it's so much better. It's so much better. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we died, but it's so much better than it used to be. Oh my goodness, it's not even close. Like, <laughs> what did I say? It needs the ability to do more damage, have a much larger ammo clip, and fire faster. And what did it do? It, all of those things. It did all of those things. We'll go with the shield weaver. Trial still go. Very well, we'll call the control. Only the one. I'll start counting after. We'll need a moment. To... All right, let's go. A little bit of a different armor. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't even know what just hit me there, but something did.
Wifey, I can hear you laughing in the other room, okay? I'll save the shooting for down in the hunting ground. It's not funny. I mean, it's kind of funny, but I can hear you laughing at my misfortune. Dude, are you serious? You just get destroyed by ranged. Like, you just get mowed down. Okay. New strategy. Kill these things first. What the heck? I'm wearing the shield. Like, I'm... I don't even know... Maybe ranged? Maybe we go range defense. Now, the shield weaver armor really should be the best armor. Unless you just die to, like, what is killing me? I don't even know what's actually hitting me. No, the weapon doesn't cause me damage. The weapon isn't hurting me. I'm just getting mowed down by something. Wifey, don't make me come over there. All right, let's do this. Let's go outfits. Where's my ranged? This would be range damage. This would be stealth. Also, uh, crafting outfits, you right here, that can go away and that can go away. So maybe what we could do, go here, add that. And then give me a nice boost to range resist. And we'll see if that does the trick. A shock attack takes out my shield. It shouldn't. But let's try this out. Let's try going here, because it seems like we're just getting, like, mowed down by ranged attacks as soon as we, like, get down there. So let's try this. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, you just get wrecked by... Hmm. So maybe what we need to do is take out the little guys first. Or take out the Ravager first. I don't suppose that these carry it. Nope. Okay. Uh, well, let's go shield. Where's my shield arm? Oh, I'm under crafting. Here we go. Yeah. All right. New strategy. Where's the Ravager? Ravager's way over there. Okay. So that one needs to go first. Or you can just get wrecked by, like, what the heck? Like, they just hone in on you so fast and destroy you. Yeah, see what I mean? I don't want 
to hear about it, chat. This is doable. It's just a matter of, like, finding a way to not die immediately upon aggroing. Because you aggro everybody. You have to use this weapon. There's not really an alternate plan of attack. What? The problem is there's, like, nothing to dodge. You can't, like... You just die. You go from full health to no health in, like, a quarter of a second. But you have to keep shooting because you got to kill everything within, like, a minute. Yeah, see what I mean? Like... Thank you, Alec. Appreciate the bits. Ugg power? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, new ball you want. Let's see you do better, Commando. <laughs> this is not an easy one to do. Because, like... You're surrounded on all sides by things that can kill you from a distance. There's not another rope I can slide down, right? Like, I have to attack from here. I have a minute to do it. I gotta take out six machines and the Ravager. So, like, they all need to die, and I have to use this weapon. But you just die so fast that, like, there's not really time. Okay, reload. Yeah, see what I mean? You're just dead. And like, I don't even know what's actually hitting me is the thing. And you need to keep firing. The, oh, you can't use override. You have to kill them with the storm blaster. And you have to keep firing because the, the, like, the rate of fire, the DPS of the storm blaster is dependent on basically firing continuously. The weapon is definitely not doing damage. Like, it is definitely not. Dude. Oh my gosh. This is driving me crazy. The weapon is not what's doing damage to me. It's the fact that every single enemy down there has a ranged attack and I'm surrounded on all sides. So everything else down here is killing me. Yeah, see, we're just like, what is, what is hitting me? The Rav, I mean, maybe the Ravager has to go first. But then everything else kills me. Because the Ravager's like way over there. The Ravager can't even see me. Like he's on the other side of the mountain. Something is two shot. Something is like instantly killing me. And the problem is I don't have anything. Like there's no, there's no indicator that the damage is coming. So I can't dodge it. Because you can't dodge something if there's, like, no tell. You know what I mean? Yeah, see? Like, I'm already getting hit by something. And I don't know what. Yeah, that one's the Ravager. Like, that I know about. And we're dead. What if you hide in stealth attack? You have 55 seconds to kill, like, six machines. You don't have... There, there is no select fire. Like, you you basically need to, to do this. You need... You, like, you need to do so much damage. You know what we could do, though? Here's an option. 
pop that. That'll give me more HP. I don't think there's a range resist potion. No, there's not. So let's try that. Let's try giving ourselves a bit. Oh, it just wears away over time. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Yeah, Ravager over there is really annoying. Okay, you need to die. Wait, how are you on the wrong potion? I need the full health potion. Come on. Yeah, see, now we're not gonna make it. Like, we might survive, but we've only got... Oh, I still need to kill four more machines. And now I'm reloading, and there we go. We've already failed, and the, the Ravager's not even dead. This is the problem. You need to kill six machines and the Ravager in 55 seconds. And we haven't even done like half that at this point. Which means you basically need to constantly DPS. Oh, and now we're out of ammo. You know, we've, we completed the trial, but we got a terrible grade on it. This is the problem with this, this trial. Like... Be fascinating if they we weren't even close to fast enough. Like, you need to be at 55 seconds for all... No, this is the best version of this weapon. Like, this is as good as it gets. We were barely halfway through the time? No, we really weren't. <laughs> I mean, that one, we didn't, uh, like, here's the problem. You can either spend time dodging and stay alive, but then fail because you didn't complete it fast enough. Or you can just shoot out mad DPS and hope you make it, but then die. <laughs> like, this is the problem. Grab this while I can. Let's try this. Crafting. Potions. You. Make me some full health potions. Okay. Let's try this. Placed in third. Oh, we didn't even complete it in we got third. We didn't even get a, a second place finish there. The weapon does not damage you, okay? It's, it's, that's not a thing. <laughs> the weapon does not damage you. I don't know how many times I have to say it. That's not a thing. The damage is coming from the Ravagers and the um, the Scrappers, the which are ranged damage to capable. In the like, they're capable of power. shooting you from a distance. Only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons, and only the bravest wield them. If you're prepared... We'll need a moment. Okay. So, pop this. Go here. Get me on full heal potions. Okay, there's that. Yep. And we're dead. Yeah, you can solve them up with blast bombs, but like, that's not really going to be a whole lot more effective. The problem is that we need huge amounts of time. And you know what we could maybe do? Here's a thought. Really, the Ravager's Cannon is the problem. So maybe what we could do is pop off the cannon. Oh, and now they all see me. Okay. 
And that's, like, most of our health. All right, well, this was a terrible plan. And now we have killed nothing. Oh, get off of me. All right, well, here. You know what? Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me and let me restart. And now you can't kill me. Are you serious? Kill me. Is it I, now that I actually want to die? Now it takes you more than half a second to kill me. Appreciate it, game. Just so much. Yeah, just... Look at this. Now that I actually wanted to die, it took him 45 seconds to kill me. The weapon is not damaging. I don't know how many more times I have to repeat it. That's not a thing. At least I'm pretty sure it's not a thing. Yes, the quest is upgraded. You know what? Tell you what. We'll Google. Horizon Zero Dawn. Storm Slinger. Upgrade. Improve Storm Slinger. Hold on. Improved Storm Slinger. Impact damage, avoids defenses. Okay. So, chat. You, you may be right. It, it does actually deal damage to yourself if you fire, uh, if you just spam shots. We'll just forget that this ever happened. Uh, <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just forget that this ever happened. This, this is, this is not a problem. Please get off. Alright, Ravager. So you get five shots. Can you eat so can you even kill them that fast if you only have five shots? Here's a question. Shock and standard damage to me. Huh. So basically, it will kill me. Get off of me. They're having a reload right now. Okay, there's that one. We 
need two more machines. Where are they? Over here. Don't reload right now. Okay, there's that one. We need one more machine. We almost had it, too. We were so close. And we're, we're out of ammo. All right. Dude, if we had, if those enemies had actually been around there at the beginning, we would have been fine. Oh, get off. Go away. Okay. So, we've kind of learned how to do this. Shock resist potion will help to a degree, but... I'd prefer to not Second place. take a bunch of damage. But will you challenge the leader? I mean, yes. The, sh the shield will take one overcharge, but I'd prefer to not lose my whole shield. Control trial tests the hunter's ability to rein in the storm slinger's power. No, I will never use it. Only the wisest understand the shamanic. <laughs> That's just not my Only weapon of choice at welcome. all. Not a fan. It begins after. We'll need a moment. All right, let's try this again. I was like, we're not going to make it. I'm just going to kill myself and restart. Easier that way. No, you reset from... You reset to where you were beforehand. Okay. That was not great. One down. Okay. Get off me. Get out of my face, Ravager. Get off. Like, seriously, dude. Okay, there we go. But now I gotta kill six machines. We're not going to make it. <sighs> 55 seconds is... Yeah, I know. I know, Dragonair. Ravager's dead. Uh, no! We were so close! 
We were so close. I think it's less a matter of taking out the small ones first and more a matter because the, the Storm Slinger does AOE damage. So I think it's more a matter of trying to take out a bunch of them at once. Like, there's one right there. Okay, please get off of me. Reload. Almost. All right. Well, there's no time for stealth. There's no time for stealth in this challenge. You have 54 seconds to take out six machines and a rip. That, that was an intentional rip. That one doesn't count. When you intentionally kill yourself because it's faster than completing the thing and then starting over, like, that doesn't count. I think maybe the trick is to wait until they kind of clump up, like over in here. Wait till they're kind of clumped up like that, and then hope to drop several of them at once. Yeah, like there was two right there. Yeah, there's two more. There we go. That one hurt a little. Come on, heal. Come on, where's this Ravager? Heal, die. All right, Ravager's down. Where are the others? Over here. One more. We've done it. Six out of six. 54 seconds. We did it. Oh my goodness. You know what? Holy cow. Tenthless, thank you for the bits. Woot indeed. Get wrecked. Dang, watcher. Grab this now. Man. That was rough. That was one rough challenge, but we did it. So. 
Lesson learned. The secret is to wait to slide down the rope until they're bunched up together. And you can take advantage of the AoE. That's what we learned. <laughs>